What is up my friends? This is video number four in our series on understanding vacuum cleaners. If you missed the first three, I will leave those videos listed linked down below for you. We've been talking about vacuum cleaner specifications. So far we've hit volts, watts, amps. In the last video we did water lift, CFM, and air watts. And this video is going to be all about filtration. All vacuums have some kind of filtration to catch the dust and the debris that you're sucking up. Without filtration, the dust would go in one end, out the other, and then all you'd be doing is throwing a big dust party. Filtration is an important specification to look at because you want to avoid blowing dust all throughout the house as much as possible. You're trying to clean the house. You don't want to re-dust it. It's also important for people with allergies. One of the biggest allergy aggravators, if you will, in the world are dust mite feces. My wife is one of them. If she gets around dust too much, you know, for too long, next thing you know, she's sneezing and wheezing. And wheezing can be quite dangerous because it can cause your windpipe here to swell up and close on you and if that happens you can't breathe. So filtration is important. A general rule of thumb when you use cheap vacuum cleaners you're pretty much going to be breathing in all the air you're vacuuming up. They're basically dust blowers rather than vacuum cleaners and that's also another reason why after you use a cheap vacuum cleaner, the air tends to stink afterwards. The absolute best filter you can get on a vacuum cleaner, bar none, is what's called a true HEPA filter. In Europe, they're called S-Class filters, but they're designed to trap 99.97% of particles as small as 0.3 microns. These numbers are what's referred to as filter efficiency. To give you an idea of micron sizes, dust mite feces are 10 to 24 microns. Most of your pollens that you encounter are going to be anywhere from 5 to 50 microns. A human hair will be anywhere from 50 to 150 microns. So you can see how small 0.3 is. 0.3 microns is microscopic. Another part of filtration is the dust bag. Pretty much the only thing you need to keep in mind when it comes to the dust bag is the bigger the better. The bigger the bag, the more surface area there is, so the easier the air is going to flow through it. Basically it's going to add less airflow resistance to the vacuum cleaner. And this is why it's always better to buy a full size vacuum cleaner versus medium or compact. Unfortunately, the word HEPA gets used and abused in the vacuum cleaner world. A lot of people buy vacuum they think, oh, I got a HEPA. I got one with a HEPA filter and they're dancing all the way home. They're all excited, you know, when in reality, they just got scammed. They just got misled is what just happened. Just because you see the word HEPA doesn't mean it has a HEPA filter. I'm going to help you to identify that in this video. You want to avoid manufacturers who play fast and loose and make vague, meaningless claims and descriptions. It might say HEPA-like or HEPA-type, but they don't give you any actual numbers. Or the box might say traps 100% of dust mites, but they don't tell you anything about filter efficiency. They don't give you any, any kind of information about particle sizes. A true HEPA filter will always quote the numbers. And remember, those numbers are 99.97% of all particles as small as 0.3 microns. This is very important for those of you that have serious allergies, serious asthma. It's very critical that you pay attention to this stuff. You need a vacuum cleaner that has a true HEPA filter, but also to take it to the next level, you need to make sure that the vacuum cleaner is a sealed system. You should see the word sealed somewhere on the box. It basically means all the air that's getting sucked up into the vacuum cleaner is going to actually pass through the filter, right? And there's not going to be any kind of leakage prior to it getting there. If you buy cheap vacuum cleaners, you're pretty much guaranteed to get leakage. And if you get leakage, that means that the system is not sealed. Manufacturers have to get quite creative with their engineering and design to meet those standards, to deal with the increased resistance from the filter system, keeping all the air in, while maintaining the vacuum cleaner's performance and cleaning ability. And that's why these type of vacuum cleaners are a little bit more expensive. Now I will say that just because a manufacturer doesn't use the word sealed doesn't necessarily mean that the vacuum leaks air prior to the filter. A few good indicators that you're dealing with a good vacuum cleaner is if you see heavy duty plastic construction, heavy rubber seals where the housing comes together, as well as if the vacuum cleaner does use a true HEPA filter, 
then those are solid indications that you're dealing with a manufacturer that is serious about filtration. So what are the best brands in terms of vacuum cleaners? In terms of filtration and cleaning ability, basically everything we've talked about in this series so far, what are the best vacuum cleaners? I will leave a few of these listed and linked down below for you in the video description box to aid with your search. The premium vacuum cleaner brands are anything made by Mila and Sibo. Now, if it's bagless vacuum cleaners you're looking for, the premium brand would be Dyson. These brands offer superior materials, quality, design, durability, warranties, as well as filtration. They are also completely sealed systems with true HEPA filtration. Shark also has been moving up in the list for me over the years, but I'm not quite, I'm not quite there just yet. So that is it, my friends. That is vacuum filtration broken down for you. Hope the video helps you out. If you liked it and you did find it valuable, I encourage you to give it a big clean with confidence thumbs up. Really helps us out. Also, if you want to take our relationship to the next level, drop me a comment down below. I love to hear from you guys. And until next time, I will see y'all in the next video. But it not so but you better stop believing this power and this product to decrease and devour a 90 minute job just turn into an 